Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do a user navigation controller uh, in Xcode 4.5. So just create a new project in Xcode and choose a single view application and then choose next and our product name will be navigation controller tutorial and our device will be iPhone we're gonna use a storyboard and we're also gonna use automatic reference counting and we're not gonna use a git repository so make sure this is unchecked and then just click create and in this tutorial we're not gonna we're not really not gonna do any coding it's gonna be mainly on the storyboard so in the storyboard it automatically has a view for us which is a which is a view controller so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, let's delete this view controller for now actually let's not let's bring it back uh, don't delete it we're just gonna click on this and then say go to the menu click on editor then say embed in and then choose a navigation controller from there it creates a navigation controller for you and the navigation controller is a this is a relationship to the to the view controller one and it all automatically creates a navigation bar for you so in the navigation bar you can say the title you can name it to be screen one and you can add a a bar button item so choose a bar button item here to your um, to your navigation bar you can rename the bar button item by double clicking it and then let's say we'll call it go to screen 2 and then in screen 1 I'm gonna make the back background green and we are going to create another another view controller view controller and just drag it onto our storyboard and here we are going to in our go to screen 2 button make sure the go to screen 2 button is selected then click control I control and drag it onto the second view controller let it go and you should be presented with three options push model and custom we're gonna choose push and then what that does is when the go to screen 2 button is selected it's going to push the view onto the onto this screen and this screen in the navigation title I'm going to call it screen 2 and the background I'm going to change it to be a uh, blue color and we can do this as many times as we like so I'm gonna do this one more time so choose uh, get another view controller in there and add another bar button item onto screen 2 bar button item and we are going to call this one go to screen 3 and again um, make sure the go to screen 3 button is selected control click and drag it onto the third view controller and call it push and again the navigation uh, when the go to screen 3 button is selected it's gonna go to this view and the navigation bar is automatically created for you because you push from the screen 2 onto screen 3 and the title we're going to call this screen 3 and the background I'm going to make this a an orange color All right. so just from that this should be enough for you to navigate between the the, diff the different screens. So let's run it on our iPhone simulator and see if it works. And so, okay, let's see if it runs. Okay, the simulator is taking a while. Let's see if it comes out. There it is. All right. So there's our screen one. We can click go to screen two. It and here's our screen two, the blue one. We can click go to screen three, and this is our screen three. And the back button, 
Sync screen two is automatically generated for us, and the back button going saying go to screen one is automatically generated for us. So how it works is the screen one button is whatever this title is here. So this title is screen one. So the back button's name is screen one, and this title's name is screen two. So when we go to screen three, the back button is automatically named screen two. So that's pretty much how you use a navigation controller to navigate between items and we can also do this using um doing this programmatically so I'll show you that on the next tutorial but for now you can do this to navigate between um different screens all right so keep watching and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to do this um programmatically and we can add some add some stuff in here too and we can also pass some data in between the screens all right thank you and I'll see you next time